There are many different ways to understand how our world is made, and different disciplines and fields of study offer different perspectives on this question. From a physical science perspective, the world is made up of energy, and the fundamental building blocks of energy are so-called particles, such as photons which are the absolute shortest possible packet of pieces, quanta, of electromagnetic radiation of light energy, quarks, protons, neutrons, and electrons. These pieces of energy interact with each other through various forces of energy itself, including the electromagnetic force and the strong and weak nuclear forces, Photons are the carrier energy, gauge boson, of the electromagnetic force, which is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. The electromagnetic force is responsible, like a trigger, for the interactions between electrically charged particles, such as the attraction between opposite charges and the repulsion between like charges. Quarks are elementary particles of energy that are the building blocks of protons and neutrons which in turn are the building blocks or groups of energy, of the energy containing in the atoms, or the energy forming atoms. Quarks are also the smallest pieces of energy, other than light, we currently know of. They are fundamental because they cannot be broken down into smaller parts or composed of other particles of energy. Quarks have several different properties, such as their spin and flavor, and they can be found in combination with other forms of energy called gluons, gauge boson, which hold the quark energy bundle in one piece with a strong nuclear force. Gluons are the medium energy which bind or holds quarks together to create protons and neutrons of an atom. But gluons don't stop there, they also bind these composite energy particles, collectively called nucleons, together in the atomic nucleus at the center of it. Each type of quark has a unique set of energy properties, such as mass, charge, spin and flavor. Some of the properties of quarks are, Massachusetts mass is the quantity of energy which a quark contains, as measured by its acceleration under a given force or by the force exerted on it by a gravitational field. Quarks have a small but non-zero mass. The mass of quarks is much smaller than the mass of protons and neutrons, which are made up of quarks. The mass of quarks is also much smaller than the mass of most other elementary pieces of energy, such as leptons and gauge bosons, charge. Quarks have an energy characteristic called charge, which can be either positive, negative, or zero. The charge of quarks is measured in units of the electron charge. Quarks with a positive charge are called up quarks, while quarks with a negative charge are called down quarks. Quarks with a zero charge are called strange quarks or charm quarks. Spin quarks have an energy characteristic called spin, which is a type of angular momentum. The spin of quarks is measured in units of h-bar, which is a fundamental constant in physics by Max Planck. Quarks energy have a spin of one half, which is half of the spin of other elementary energies, such as electrons and photons, flavor. Quarks have an energy property called flavor, which refers to the type of quark. There are six types of quarks, which are called up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Protons and neutrons are made up of three quarks each, and the properties of a proton or neutron are determined by the specific combination of quarks it contains. Protons and neutrons are the particles that make up the nucleus at the center of an atom. The properties of an atom, such as its atomic number and atomic mass, are determined by the number of protons and neutrons it has in its nucleus. As we said, Atoms are the basic units of energy, and they are made up of three types of particles. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. The protons and neutrons are located in the center of the atom, in a region called the nucleus. The electrons orbit the nucleus in energy levels surrounding the nucleus, the fundamental energy forces of nature, such as the electromagnetic force and the strong and weak nuclear forces, 
govern how these energies interact with each other. The electromagnetic force is responsible for things like the attraction and repulsion of charged energies. And it plays a role in the behavior of electrons in atoms. The strong and weak nuclear forces are responsible for the binding of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom, and they also play a role in certain types of radioactive decay. Protons and neutrons are also known as hadrons, and they are the particles that make up the nucleus of an atom. Atoms of energy can combine with each other to form bigger energy molecules, which are the building blocks of most of the substances we encounter in the world. The properties of a substance, such as its state, solid, liquid, or gas, and its chemical behavior, are determined by the arrangement and interactions of its atoms and molecules. The number of protons in an atom's nucleus is known as its atomic number, and this determines the identity of the element that the atom belongs to. For example, all atoms with six protons in their nucleus are carbon atoms, while atoms with 92 protons are uranium atoms, the number of neutrons in an atom's nucleus can vary. And atoms of the same energy, element, can have different numbers of neutrons. These energy atoms are called isotopes. The total number of protons and neutrons in an atom's nucleus is its atomic mass, which is usually given in atomic mass units, AMU. The mass of an atom is dominated by the mass of its protons and neutrons and behavior of its electrons. For example, the number of electrons in an atom's outermost shell determines its chemical behavior and its ability to form chemical bonds with other atoms. Atoms of energy can join together to make molecules and molecules joined together can form bigger things, like water or a table or anything material.